The Life and Sad Ending of Anne Murray Anne Murray was born Morna Anne Murray on June 20th, 1945 in the coal mining town of Spring Hill in Nova Scotia, Canada. Her father was James Carson Murray and a doctor, while her mother, Marianne Margaret Murray, was a registered nurse. She had five brothers. With a dreamy childhood, also with a gift of grace, she was met with inspiration and passion. She was interested in music from an early age and studied piano for six years. At the age of 15, she started taking lessons on vocal music. She graduated from high school in Spring Hill in 1962 and enrolled in the Mount St. Vincent University, Halifax, to study physical education for one year. Later, she joined the University of New Brunswick, Frederication, where she received her degree in physical education in 1966. But not everything is easy. Days from the first step, she auditioned unsuccessfully for a television series called Sing Along Jubilee in 1964. In 1966, she auditioned for the series for second time, and she was successful. After graduating from the University of New Brunswick in 1966, she taught physical education at Summerside High School on Prince Edward Island for one year. Her teaching career ended when she became a soloist for the television series Sing Along Jubilee in 1967. Her first album, What About Me?, was released in 1968. In 1969, she had her major debut with Capitol Records with the release of an album, This Way Is My Way. In 1970, she sang Snowbird, written by Canadian songwriter Jean McLean, while becoming an instant hit. She received an American gold record signifying the sale of more than 500,000 copies and became the first female Canadian artist to do so. During the 1970s, she started to appear regularly on the popular variety shows such as the Glen Campbell Good Time Hour, The Muppet Show, American Bandstand, and Saturday Night Live. In 1971, Anne-Marie received her first Juno Award for Best Female Vocalist. In 1974, she received her first Grammy Award for Best Country Vocal Performance. Next, she got her second Grammy Award in 1978. After her marriage in 1975, she dropped out of the world of music for a few years and concentrated on bringing up her family. She recorded an album for children, There's a Hippo in My Tub, in 1977, which won her a Juno Award in 79. She performed extensively during the 80s and released at least one album every year except for 1985. In 1990, she recorded the song Could I Have This Dance to get her third Grammy Award. In 1983, she recorded a song A A Little Good News, which brought a fourth Grammy for her. She opened the Anne Marie Center in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia in 1989 to promote music in the area. She did not work from 1993 to 1996 after the death of her longtime friend and manager. Therefore, she signed on with a new manager and her career took a turn for the better. She released her first live album in 1997. Her album on inspirational songs, What a Wonderful World, came out in 1999. In the late 90s, she and her daughter Dawn appeared on talk shows to help prevent an eating disorder called anorexia nervosa in young women. She released her album, What a Wonderful Christmas, in 2001, which was a great hit. Her album, Country Crooning, a collection of country songs, came out in 2002. In 2005, she released her 33rd studio album, All of Me, and in late 2005, she joined a Canadian contingent of performers to raise funds for the tsunami-affected victims in Southeast Asia. Murray married Bill Langstroth, music producer and longtime host of Sing Along Jubilee in 1975. They have two children, William and Don, a singer-songwriter, an artist who has recorded with her mother and a number of times, including a duet, Let There Be Love, in 1999, and Murray's What a Wonderful World album. Murray and Don were featured in a mother-daughter duet of Nobody Love Me Like You Do, on Murray's hit 2008 U.S. CD, Annie Murray Duets, Friends and Legends. Murray and Langstroth separated in 1997 and divorced the following year. Langstroth died in 2013. 
In January of 1998, Anne and Don performed at a benefit concert for Sheena's Place, an eating disorder treatment center in Toronto. Both have spoken publicly about Don's struggle with anorexia nervosa, which developed when she was 10 years old. Don has since sought treatment and continues to pursue a career in music. She has spent her entire life in Canada, unlike many Canadian singers. Anne Marie is currently 76 years old and health no longer as good as before, although her passion for music is endless. Thanks for what she showed us. Thanks for a fascinating story that she has brought us. Good health, good health, dear old friend.